So ranch powders in Power World are super important for players looking to create foods, cakes, I mean you name it. If a Power has that farming work suitability trait, that stat, this guide should help you in making those ranch powers more efficient for you. Also, I'll give you a few tips and tricks into just how things around a ranch should be set up. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I'm giving a couple of copies away of any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners are picked from the comments section and announced at the end of the week, so good luck everybody. So ranch powers are powers with that farming work suitability stat and these powers over time when assigned to that ranch will drop you a certain item every so often. The ranch is vital for players looking to create certain types of foods, even cakes, for instance as the honey comes from Bee Garden at the ranch, milk drops from the Mars at the ranch, eggs drop from the chickpea at the ranch. These are vital items in creating those cakes guys, but it's more than just cakes that can be made at our ranches. There's also a mass variety of foods which are not only good for you but also amazing for your pals and to keep them in top shape in regards to them doing that efficient base work. But yes, I know many people will be watching this in hopes for tips and tricks in regards to making cakes. So I'm going to bring you some. So what can you do to make this more efficient in regards to powers dropping more of said ingredients or said items? There's a misconception that there's nothing you can do. But actually, guys, there's a couple of things you can do here in regards to making them produce more for you. Firstly, guys, passives. A common misconception is that work speed does nothing for powers in regards to the ranch. Now, although this is kind of right, it actually does affect what they do and how fast they do it. A farming power like Chicopee, if it has means of increased work speed in regards to passives, although it won't actually drop or farm more eggs for you, what actually happens is, and what we see happen here is, the animation the Chicopee does when it sorts that egg will actually speed up by whatever work rate buff you have applied to said power. What this means is, if a power has a certain passive on them, let's say it has Artisan on them, this passive offers a 50% increase work speed buff. Now the effect we see it has on a ranch farming powers is within their animation. The animation of them dropping, laying or digging up that certain animation you'll see for about 3 or 4 seconds, sometimes a little longer. Work speed when applied to said ranch power will speed up this animation. This over a long period of time will affect production rate. Indeed the result being more items dropping for you. So what passive should you look to get or even breed into said ranch pals? Well Artisan is the best for sure offering a plus 50% increase to that work speed. Work Slave will give you a plus 30% increase to work speed but it drops attack power which isn't really important here. There's also Sirius which increases work speed by a plus 20%. Now there are other passives too that are non-legendary which can also increase work speed. Conceited will give you another 10% increase on work speed. These passives you can get or you can breed into ranch powers. These will definitely increase your production output. Not massively but it will go up. Now there are other passives you can take into mind in regards to powers at the ranch. They are classes working so before victim to the usual worn out signs. Workaholic is a great passive as it reduces that sand depletion. Diet Lover reduces hunger by 15%. Swift increases movement speed by 15%. These will all line up nicely in regards to that production guys. I mean pals will move away from the ranch, they will go to eat, they will go to take a break, go in the hot tub, go to sleep. Other things you could do in regards to making it more efficient for yourself is building things closer together. So have your ranch near the beds, near the food box, near those spoons. Have a more than like a tight congestion. This definitely means less moving about and over time will obviously bring the outcome of more production of said ranch items. But yeah, passive actually can have an effect on those production rates. But there are also other means of increasing that work speed. For instance, the Statue of Power. If you have those power souls spare, you can always upgrade the work speed of your ranch powers. This will work, obviously, as again, it will do the same thing as the passives do in regards to increasing the animation the powers do and use while they lay, find, dig up said items at the ranch. 
The other way which drastically increases production rate, and this actually affects how much they find at a time, which again you could also pair this with passives in regards to work speed, this is to do with the condensation machine. Now this machine obviously though consists of you having to sacrifice the same said power to level up and increase your main power. To get a power to a max level in regards to the condensation machine, it takes a further 116 of that same said power. So if you want to max out production rate in regards to that chickpea, you will need another 116 of said chickpeas. You will need to use the condensation machine and infuse them all into your chickpea. Stage 1 is 4, stage 2 is 16, stage 3 is 32 and stage 4 is 64. This will then indeed max out that ranch pal or any pal for that matter. But because this video is about ranch pals, we discuss ranch pals. Now obviously if you do not know, once you get to that stage 4 in that condensation machine and you sacrifice 116 of said pal, you actually level up the work suitability stat. What this means is guys, pals which have that ranch, that farming stat, that work suitability stat, this will go up to a level 2. But what does this mean? Well let me explain. Leveling up a ranch power to this point will give you a drastic increase in regards to the items they drop, find, dig up at said ranch. But you actually don't have to level it up all four stages to see that increase. For instance, a mozzarina at a base level of 1, this means a power that hasn't been leveled up whatsoever, when you put it within that ranch over a set period of time, let's say a minute, it will produce 1 milk every period of time. Now if you level this up with a condensation machine to a stage 1, sacrificing 4 of the mozzies, it will produce between 1 and 2 milk within that same period of time. When you level it up using 16 more mozzies to a stage 2 in that condensation machine, it will find up to 3 per time. A level 3 in that condensation machine, this is sacrificing 32 more mozzies, it will find up to 4 milk per time. And at a level 4, sacrificing a further 64 muzzies, it will find up to 5 milk per time. But keep in mind again, it requires a total guys, to reach that level 4, a total of 116 of the same said pal you're looking to level up using the condensation machine. But the ultimate end goal here is guys, you'll have ranch pals which drop up to 5 or 6 times its normal rates. So this may be something you may need to think about later on, I already have. But again, you don't have to max them out to see a change in regards to production rates with that ranch. But yeah guys, some basic info on ranch pals and how to make them produce those goods faster and well, I hope this info does indeed help you out. This is how you level up ranch pals and make them produce more of those vital materials we do seek. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.